Today we're going to make calamari, a very simple calamari. So you need to start with, obviously, calamari. Um, these will become calamari rings. These are the little tentacles that you see on them as well. Um, I bought these frozen, and if you notice, they're frozen tubes and tentacles. They're wild caught. So when you go to a store and you're buying calamari, you're going to find them a couple ways. Either frozen, chopped up, or frozen whole. I wanted to do the whole. If you find them in the fish cabinet where it looks like they're fresh, make sure that if they have been previously frozen that you don't freeze them again. And if they're fresh, they're just the same. So what I did is I soaked these in water for a while. And if this is a normal calamari, you want to go like this and see if it has, this one doesn't have them, they've already been cleaned. But sometimes they'll have like a plastic, almost looks like a plastic straw in it. It's part of their backbone. So you want to be sure and, and get rid of that. And then I did put them in a salad spinner to drain them as much as possible. So I'm going to cut these and you'll see about the size that I'm cutting them. I don't want to make them too thin because it does take away from the flavor. And by the way, use I give the ingredients in the beginning of the video. So let me take a step back and you'll need the calamari rings without a doubt. You're going to need some flour. This is all purpose flour. I've already put salt and pepper in it. That's the taste. You're going to need some vegetable or frying oil, a skillet that's a little bit deeper so that they don't burn and they come out better a spoon or a cooking spider to be able and take those out while they're still hot and lemons to be able and um, at the end I use the lemons to serve them and to eat them. So I'm going to cut these up. Don't need to cut these. These are ready to go in the flour like this and we'll show you how they look floured in a second and then I'll show you how we cook these. So stay tuned. This is a big one. I'm going to cut this guy in half. Okay, so I have some of them in the flour, and you'll see how we flour these. You definitely want to toss them. The flour is going to get rid of a lot of the moisture and everything that's in them. Don't be shy to get a good coating of flour. This is what's going to give you that crunchy crust to make them taste oh so good. And especially because the rings just love to collapse. you got to be careful to make sure it's going all in them. All right, and then I'm going to... Take some of these and put them on a white cloth like that. Get them ready for the frying. These are going to smell so good and be so tasty when they're ready. And, you know, some people like the rings. Other people prefer the, uh, I was afraid I'm going to say these wrong, the tentacles. You know what they sound like. So <laughs> I don't want to get that one wrong. And here's a couple more of the rings here, making sure there's flour inside and out of them. Okay. And these do fry up pretty fast, so I'll show you how quickly they fry up. And All right, so again, I want to be sure you get flour inside and out. You know, there's a couple of restaurants that I've gone to that actually prepare them like this. And one of them is in Boston on the North End. It's called the Daily Catch. You actually see the guy chop them up, flour them right in front of you, and fry them up. And I'll tell you, it's probably some of the best calamari I've had. And if you're on the North End in Boston, there's a, I think it's Mike's Pastries that also makes some amazing cannolis. Huge line all the time, but it goes pretty fast. All right, so we are going to now fry these up and put these here as well so that I have these ready to go in for the next batch. So continue watching and I'll show you the frying part. All right, okay. I have my oil and you can see how much oil I'm using a high skillet here. So it's easier. And we're going to drop them in. Want to give them enough um, 
thing so that they could do that final swim, I guess. There we go. Ooh. Look at those little guys. watch my video, you will recognize that classic whining of my dog. And you'll see that these do cook up pretty quick. So yeah, don't want to go too far away when you're cooking these. Now at my um, home residence, I actually have a gas stove, which is for any of you that have one, you know that you never want to get rid of them, but here it's electric. It's a little bit more difficult to control the heat on it. And my mom is helping me in the back while I'm doing these, so I'm going to hand these over to her. So she could flower, and we'll probably get her in the scene if I could convince her. So my mom's name is Josephine. She's a... Uh, from Sicily, born and raised there. I was born there as well. And this is how she would make the calamari if we were back home. And my dad was saying how he wanted some old-fashioned calamari, so that's why we're doing this. By the way, if you um, if you have a preference for calamari or squid, I've got some news for you. It's actually the exact same thing. Calamari is a nicer way to call it. It's how you call them in Italy. Squeeze the American name to them. The guys missed part of it, but these little guys fight back. Uh, if you can see the splash here, that was an oil bubble. And it's obviously because of the moisture and the water in them as they were cooking. So be very careful. Another thing is they smell, it's fish, so you want to be sure that you're running a fan in the house as well. There we go, I'm just pulling out some of this. These are cooked. These are about to be cooked. I'll show you how much longer they'll be ready. Don't those look so good? Look at how they're holding up. Just amazing. Put in a few more in here. I think I'm going to put the squiggly guys in at last because uh, again, they got a little nasty and feisty. Executive decision, skillet with oil definitely works. If you have a fryer, one of those electric fryers that maintain the temperature at home with the basket, by all means, use that versus a skillet. They're going to get less oil spray, less of a mess, and they're going to taste just the same. All right, they're all finished. Um, they do make quite a mess. They, they do smell the house, but they are delicious. I did not cook all of these in the fryer because they uh, they tend to spit out quite a bit of oil. It got a little bit dangerous. This is my mom and dad. My dad's going to eat them. My mom helped with the flowering. And I'm going to enjoy part of my daughter cooking for them. Yes. <laughs> Don't forget the lemons for the decorations. Yeah. <laughs> Send it to the member what Mariela did for, for the old father. Because I would not done in a clean, beautiful place, <laughs> white, new, like this, fried calamari. And I even discouraged her, I said, are you sure that's what you want to do? And she says, yes, mom. So my husband should be appreciated for his life of time. Life is short, Thank folks. You. Make a mess. Thank you. Yes, Enjoy. Yes, Enjoy. We love you. We bless you. <laughs> Travis is a daughter. And Mark is a son-in-law. Can you take a picture of that?